Hello everyone and welcome to the New Age Networks VSP and the 5Big AP integration demo. Uh, we will show here how uh, a 5Big AP appliance can be used as a hardware VTAP with the New Age Networks Virtualized Services platform. In the first part of the presentation we will explain the purpose of the integration, we will discuss different use cases, uh, then we will speak a little bit about our demo platform and uh, move to the demo itself. So why the integration? In a typical new setup, the virtual routing and switching modules on the compute servers are controlled by the virtualized services controller, which in turn communicates with the virtualized services director. Now, if we add the 5 big IP appliance into the picture, we can configure it to also communicate with the VSC and exchange reachability information. In this case, it will become a hardware Vita that can extend the new HVX LAN domain. Regarding the integration use cases, in the layer 2 scenario we have the case where the clients are in the underlay and the web servers in the overlay connected to the same network as the big IP appliance. Therefore, the big IP appliance will uh, expose the virtual server in the underlay and load balance uh, requests from the client to the web servers uh, in the overlay which are connected to the same VXLAN subnet as the big IP appliance. Now, there is the inverse case where the clients are in the overlay and the web servers in the underlay, for example, when web servers are bare metal. Now, the um, big IP appliance will expose the virtual server in the overlay and load balance requests from the clients to the web servers in the underlay. So, as we can see in both cases, web servers and clients are on the same uh, VXLAN uh, subnet as uh, the big AP. Now in the layer 3 scenario we have same uh, two cases with the clients in the underlay and clients in the overlay but here they are on different subnets in the overlay therefore for the, v for the big AP to be able to communicate with them it will need to do some VXLAN routing. This is the demo platform. It will consist of several NUH components like VSD, VSC and the VRS which is deployed on the KVM hypervisor. We have a couple of underlay web servers that will be used for testing and the big IP appliance. The big IP appliance is connected to three subnets. The green one is the management subnet, the black one is the underlay subnet which will be, will be used to communicate with the VSC using OVSDB and with the hypervisor using the VXLAN. And the red one is the VLAN uh, used to communicate with the web servers. Before jumping into the actual demo, let's take a look at the big IP configuration. We pre-configured three server pools, each containing two nodes, the overlay layer 2, the overlay layer 3, and the underlay. The underlay will be backed by two virtual machines used to simulate the underlay bare metal web servers. The overlay layer 2 will be backed by two new Azure virtual machines deployed in the overlay. Exactly these VMs will be used to test first layer 2 load balancing and then layer 3. We also deployed two virtual servers, the overlay virtual server which is backed by the underlay pool and the underlay virtual server which is backed by the overlay pools. And the last thing that we need, there are two self-IPs which have the same IPs as the virtual servers. These are needed so that the big IP could communicate with the web servers. Once the initial configuration has been completed, log into the appliance and configure the OVSDB connection. This will enable the big IP to establish an OVSDB communications channel with the VSC and start exchanging reachability information. Now the big IP will be seen by the VSD as a hardware VTAP. The cloud admin accepts the gateway which will make it available to the tenant. Next, he creates a VLAN for the servers and gives the rights to the tenant. The first scenario that we'll be testing will be layer 2, so the servers are connected to the big IP subnet. We create a bridge interface and connect the big IP gateway. The next step is the configuration of the VXLAN tunnel. For this we will need the VN ID of the big IP subnet.
Once the virtual servers are operational, we can start the testing. The first test will be clients in the underlay scenario. In this case, we are using one of the underlay web servers as a client. The load balancing is successful. Next, we will test the other direction by using the overlay web servers as clients. This test is successful as well. Now that layer 2 works, we will test layer 3. The first thing to do is move the overlay web servers to another submit. Next, we modify the server pool in the backend of the virtual server underlay. We use the backhaul VXLAN ID to create the backhaul tunnel. And we replace the big IP bridge by a host TV port. The virtual servers are operational. We can now test the layer 3 scenario. Clients in the underlay. and clients in the overlay. One configuration that has been forgotten, adding the backhaul tunnel to the virtual server. This concludes our demo. For more information, refer to neosnetworks.net/partners.